Hey everyone, this is Joe with Sign Tracker. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me on this video, setting up your employees. So under your setup tab, under admin, and then on the left you'll see employees, simply add an employee. So the first thing we want to do is add the first name, last name, job title, say project manager. If you want to add uh, contact information like the employee's cell phone number, personal email address, address, you can do that here. You don't have to do that to add them to the system in Sign Tracker. So we're going to go ahead and submit. Now we're going to go ahead and add an account user. So once you add an account user, that will give this employee access to Sign Tracker. So we're going to set up a username. Now this can either be the employee's first name, last name, anything you want it to be actually. Email address is uh, pretty helpful, it's easy to remember. Uh, and then we're going to enter in email. And then we're going to enter in password. You might want to record these passwords somewhere uh, just so you can let the employee know what their password is. They will actually get an email confirming this. Make sure they check their spam just in case. But they will they will um, confirm their account. Uh, they can also change their password there too if they like. Uh, and then you can choose whether this person's going to be just a staff person or a shop admin. And I'll go over those permissions in a second. But let's just say uh, this person's going to be a shop admin. We'll add the user. And now they are ready to go. So uh, we're going to get into Susan's account here. And we're going to, and you can resend confirmation instructions from here. You can confirm user. You can remove the user. You can edit the user. So let's just do that for a second. I meant to type Jones. So we'll save that. But that's just how you do that. It's pretty easy. And now we're going to look at the permissions. So as a shop admin, this person automatically gets permission to look at the quotes, which in the quotes include all the markups, the commissions, the, the pricing of the materials and labor and formula items. They see the, all the details of the quote. They also see the customer facing contracts and then they can see the reports. Now, if you don't want them to see all this, you can basically uh, remove this person as an admin and then make them just a staff person. But then you can still give them permissions for whatever you want. Um, and then if, if, uh, if you want them to be a shop admin, you have to assign them to shop admin, then they can see the QuickBooks integration and they can also use the company credit card to be able to sign up for a full active account with Sign Tracker. But that's pretty much it. That's all you really need to set up your, um, your employees. The other things you can do here is you can see all the all the employees you've removed maybe in the past, so it hides them. So if you remove an employee, it will take them out of the drop down menus within Sign Tracker. So, anyway, that is how you set up your team in Sign Tracker. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. And thanks for spending a few minutes with me. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we'll be posting updated videos on a regular basis. And if you have any questions or suggestions, we'd love to hear from you through our chat tool found in the app. Thanks again. Have a great day.